Hey, happy Sunday again. You know, somebody told me something. I guess those pods, well, they're convenient. You know, I know for moves, we got a few moving companies around here. Most people, they'll tend to, if they got a few, you know, strong bodies to give them a hand or rent, you know, a couple of big U-Haul trucks, you know what I mean? And uh, make their own move. But for people that may be elderly, they don't have people to help, they got a moving company, and they're not exactly cheap. We have Almeida and another one, I forget what it's called. And depending on the size of the move, you got three, four, you know, five rooms of furniture, and they got those real big trucks. And they'll have three, four, five guys. It can cost you a couple grand for a move, easily. You know, if you got a piano, you know what I mean, shit like that, it's even more. It's just a matter of, I guess, convenience and what you're able to do on your own. So I thought I'd look into the pods and I went to their website. Uh, I don't understand something. Jabba said on his video that is real estate lady. Hey, Jabba, how you doing, buddy? Good morning. Um, you know, she paid to get the pod there. The credit card was four hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, not according to parts. The cost to rent a pod storage unit here. You can read this yourself. Size container you choose. Uh, these are some of the general costs. It's a seventy-five dollar delivery charge. You're on a seventy-five dollar. Pickup charge. Now, once that's dropped off in your yard, you begin paying a monthly rental fee, and it starts at one hundred and forty-nine ninety-nine a month, one hundred and fifty bucks a month, and that's for the smallest pod size. You said you have what the sixteen footer. I won't go through all the other pages on it, but that's one of their largest ones. So it's going to be more than one hundred and fifty bucks a month. Is your real estate lady going to pay for that? Because you have to pay these charges. Or you could end up back in court being sued for money. And they won't take it anywhere. When I read through everything, they won't take it where you want it. Unless you're up to date on your payments. On your rental fee that has been in your possession. You know what I'm saying? Were you aware of that? The average local move, if you're moving local, costs around 300 to 500 long distance move now you know you said your real estate lady's looking for a place for you to live that's going to be kind of close by so yeah three to five hundred is she going to pay that too hey how's it going with the house you know is it sold yet you get that closing date she can get your money she can pay all this shit you know what i mean you know what happens to shit that's put in storage right and it doesn't get paid for you ever watch that show storage was you know you go there Hey, dude, man, you've had this thing for a while now. You're not paying your rental fee. Guess what? We're putting a lock on it. Say bye-bye. You know what I mean? They want to get paid. Like your mortgage company wants to get paid, you know? Like the bank that holds the loan on your Jeep wants to get paid. Like your utility company, gas, electric, cell phone. They want to get paid. You know what I mean, Jar, but there's no fucking free rides in life. You know, grocery stores want to get paid when you're at the counter. With all your food on that conveyor belt. You have to unload it off your shopping carriage. You know what I mean? They want to get paid. No free ride in life, dude. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. So, yeah, I figured I'd check on this. Uh, there'll be no happy Monday video tomorrow. I got some things to do. And quite frankly, eh, I'm going to back off on this a little bit. It gets to be, you know, same shit. Unless something new comes along, unless we find out that, like I said, you know, maybe job is missing because back in the hospital again, this time instead of having a major heart attack where he was on life support, this time, you know, maybe he's got lung cancer, breast cancer, he's getting a hysterectomy, maybe hemorrhoids, you know, or maybe it'll be something really good this time, you know, that big belly of his. It's not really a big belly. He's been keeping a secret from everyone. He's 900 
and 64 months pregnant. And he finally gave birth to that baby water buffalo. You know what I mean? That's why he's been gone. It was a very long delivery process to get that fucker out of his gut. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I hope he named it after me, Brian. Even if it's a girl, Brianna. What do you think about that? Anyway, yeah. Uh, somebody said, hey, what do those pods cost? I said, I have no idea. I said, you know what? Let's find out. Let's get it right from the source, right from the pods website. Yeah. Anyway, I guess he's had that there. How long has that been there now? He's already on the hook for the first month's rental. That's one hundred and forty nine ninety nine. We said he made 200 bucks at his yard sale, right? So that should cover the cost of it easily. And then we see where it goes from here. When Jabba does show up, uh, I'm quite sure he will eventually. You know him. He will. We'll see what he has to say when the time comes. We'll find out, you know, how things went with the house, if he made the sale, you know, uh, where he's living. Uh, hey, did he ever get that Bel Air running? I think I had mentioned sometime last week the guy went there. You got the old solder out in like, you know, 10 minutes. That job he couldn't do in three fucking months. Uh, but he couldn't get the new one in and connect it because the wires are fucked up. Like I said, he's got those wild animals, you know, on his property that chewed up all the plastic gas tanks on his lawnmowers. Yeah. I bet those motherfuckers are the culprits that shoot up those wires and shoot up all the seats in that bell air. You know what I mean? Anyway, listen, I got some things to do today. It's football Sunday. I was telling Will last night that uh, today's game, one of today's games, our Patriots suck that donkey dick. They're fucking horrible. In fact, it'll be starting uh, at 9.30 a.m. our time here. They're playing over in London. They have those games. They play in the U.K., periodically, they're going to get the fuck kicked out of them, they suck, but today's game, I said, I think will be a preview of the Super Bowl, when the 49ers take on his Kansas City Chiefs, he loves his Chiefs, you know, I got some bad news for Will, Will, if you're watching, I heard that uh, the 49ers might sign Al for a touchdown Monday for today's game, that happens, your Chiefs are fucked. I'll tell you right now, your Chiefs are fucked. Anyway, I kind of see that being the teams that will be in the Super Bowl. 49ers and Chiefs, although the Vikings look pretty good. There's a few other teams out there, you know. Ravens that I think would make a run at it. But there's something about the 49ers I like. I like Brock Purdy. I think he's a good young quarterback. He's got a good head. He makes good decisions on the field. I think they have lost one or two games, but the season is still young. And when it comes to playoff time, you find out, you know, who the real teams are. And the ones like Dallas, they start out smoke and they get a few consecutive wins and then they get three consecutive losses. And a lot of teams fall apart, you know, by, by midseason. So anyway, I'll keep my eye on that game. Our Patriots are coming up at 9.30. I'll watch that until I'm ready to puke in my fucking mouth and I can't take anymore how bad they suck. And uh, this afternoon I'll be with a few guys. We'll be watching some games. So enjoy your Sunday. Have fun. Stay safe. Hey, Jabba. Have a great day, buddy.